My name's Emma and uh, my business is A to Z Animal Care Limited, um, which is a pet grooming company in Bedston, Kent. And I'm Bill and my business is Pet Passion to Profit, which uh, is based at home, but uh, runs alongside Emma's business as well. I think the biggest takeaway for me has just been the awareness and the, the opening of minds to other businesses like mine and that there is a general business ethos out there which works for lots of different types of businesses and that there's a process which if you apply across the board works. Um, it can feel quite lonely in business sometimes but actually once you join a process like this you realise that you're not on your own and that there are other people that feel like you and think like you um, and having not come from a police background but from more of a business background um, it's just made me realise that there's people out there like me and that together um, as a community we can grow and help each other. Yeah, and I think yeah. it also clicked quite well, didn't it, with the, the pricing and, you know, the yeah. raising your prices, where I was a bit more sort of timid around that, whereas you were, like, very much more. I was further along the process already of having had a business for 15 years and not really getting what I wanted from it. Um, and the, the fresh pair of eyes is what I really needed from, from Alex and the other mentors to, to take a look at what we were doing and say, you know, you're on the right path, but you could do more, you could do better, you could expand this, this could become what you want it to be for, for you and your lifestyle. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And then from that, we grew the second business, which actually has been much less painful and has skipped <laughs> an awful lot of the pain points that I went through, um, bypassed all of that and just done it properly. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the biggest takeaway is my business where I actually left the police um, within a year of joining yeah. uh, Shift to Success. So, yeah. you know, Relatively that... pain free as well. <laughs> yeah. it, it wasn't a terrifying leap into the abyss of unknown, was it? There no. were, you know, you were busy and you had clients and things were growing and it, it, it was just the right time. It wasn't a terrifying leap at all for either of us. It was just part of the process. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, when we originally started um, with Shift to Success, it was all around aid to animal care, Emma's business. And we'd always been looking for uh, mentorship um, because we always knew that the business could do better. Uh, we'd been to see other mentor, well, business, business coaches, didn't we? Or we'd business mentors, didn't we? yeah. And we they knew we'd hit a bit of a brick wall. Yeah, and... they kind of gave us gave us the um, the same thing over and over again. But I suppose just success linked in with me being a police officer, and um, it kind of what resonated the most was when I looked at the the YouTube channel and the podcast. It was like. Well, there's that massive underlying current of mental health issues, you know, police officers wanted to get out of the police and we wanted help and I was going through the same stuff. So um, that's kind of what resonated, resi resonated. resonated yeah. with me, isn't it? And yeah. uh, I was like, we need to do this. Yeah. And I was very happy to be supportive on that journey. I knew Bill needed a way out. I knew he needed mm. a way out. I could see he did and that, you know, long term looking at another 20 years of doing what he was doing, it wasn't healthy, it wasn't productive, it wasn't going to end yeah. up with you being happy. well <laughs> and happy, which hopefully is the most important thing in life, is to enjoy yeah. the journey and raising the children together and running the business together and yeah, you just weren't, weren't well, were you? And, no. you know, I was extremely happy that you found Alex and was more than happy to support you in going forward with that. It's mm. really what we needed and it came at the right time, didn't it? I actually in there whilst listening to some of the stories, it was quite emotional because uh, I've sort of know some of the some of the paths that people have been through, some of the trauma. I've helped uh, others and they've helped me as well. So it's quite a personal bond that I think we've all got as a community, and I think that's uh, really nice. And like someone said in there, you know, ask those questions and uh, be vulnerable, and um, you know, you've got that it support. It is a safe place. Isn't yeah. It? And I think the standards that are upheld within the community are great and make everybody feel as if they can ask what they might presume to be the silly questions but actually aren't because they're what everybody's thinking. They just might not be brave enough to ask it. So, But you never feel bullied or belittled or like your question's not going to be taken seriously. You can put those questions out there and everybody, rather than taking the negative tack, which you very often get within the police, yeah, which it. just makes you shut down and internalise and not ask the questions because you think, oh, I can't ask this. I either should know this or I'm going to get told off if I do ask the question. You know, things will be repeated and even when they're repeated, you're still not made to feel silly. So 
Yeah. And I, I once said to Alex, you know, the police often say or, or say that they've got a family and the police is a family, but I never really saw that. Whereas the shift to success is a family. We all yeah. stick together. We all support each other. If I've got something which I think a shift to success member can help with or help one of my customers or clients with, then that's who I reach out to first because I know they're trustworthy and I know that they're going to they're gonna, like, give good results. So.